When I first got Visual Snow, I thought I was the only person that had this. And my understanding of Visual Snow was singular because only I was aware of what I was going through. And it wasn't until I spoke with other people and communicated with others around the world that I realized Visual Snow is not a one size fits all condition. It is extremely different for everyone. And that's based on various factors from genetics to adapting and then the ability to cope. So people's physical symptoms not only will be different, but the manner in which that they deal with it emotionally will also be different. And some people are born with visual snow, whereas others get it throughout the course of their lifetime. There are also people who find that specific things help them or alleviate their symptoms. And then on the flip side, for some people, that is the very thing that exacerbates their symptoms or make it worse. But this is all information that our researchers are considering. VS is very diverse. And across the board, we do see certain commonalities, but there's many factors that can be potentially contributing to the diversity of how this condition manifests and the fact that it affects everyone differently. We all have different genetic makeups and just like other conditions and uh, ways in which our body works, VS is no exception. It works differently for everybody.